Hello everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Um, today I'm back to the Junkyard Jewel 6 liter LQ4 from the Junkyard. If you guys remember, number 8 piston was all chewed up. Um, Wayne Tinkham donated one to the cause, which I appreciate. Thank you again, brother. Um, there's really, I mean, there's. I, I'm not going to... I just want to show this real quick. Um, this isn't going to be the reassembly like total, but I'm going to show you know this piston and they go in. LQ4s have the dots on them, um, and you can tell this is an LQ4 by the giant dish in it. So I just rotated it around so the crank journals like pretty well lined up. So when I drop it in, it'll hit. Um, let me walk over here. On my cleanliness is godliness, people. I have this OEM piston ring compressor, and I actually got it from AutoZone. I don't own it. AutoZone's like two blocks from my house. Um, this just wraps around the piston, and then you kind of tap it in. I like to use, whenever I have stuff apart, I like to use a little STP on it. Um, again, these are the bearings. This one's the one out of, uh, this is, these are the bearings out of Wayne's donor. They're a little grungier than mine were, but not a big deal. Uh, it does matter which way you put the rod cap on. They're a, what's called a cracked cap design, so you got to match them up. Um, when you have them matched, you'll know. Like, it'll look the same. So, there we go. That looks the same. The other side's darker. I bet the other side of that piston's darker. Or rod, I'm sorry. Yeah. So those are the sides that match each other. Um, I'm gonna get the piston ring compressor set up. I'm gonna show you guys how I tap them in. I'm gonna smear a little bit of STP on it. I'm going to avoid the urge to take all these pistons out and clean them and dunk them in B12 and all that other crap. Um, I did wire wheel this one and that one. I'll go through and wire wheel all the comp all the crappy carbon off the tops because I can do that quick enough. But uh, other than that, it's going in just like this. So I will be right back when I have that piston ring compressor set up. And I'll show you how I knock them. All right, I'd imagine most people on the channel have probably seen one before. But if you haven't, this is how this type of uh, ring compressor works. You see I have it up over top of the oil control ring. So what's happened is the rings have tension on them. They're springy. They want to fly out, right? And they press up against the cylinder wall. So this is like a roll of spring steel. And you kind of ratchet it down here like so. And it pushes everything in. But see, I have it up over that, over the oil control ring. So I'm going to have to release it a little bit. Make sure I keep it down. Tighten it up. Oh, see it flew out. No good. Try again. A little difficult to do one-handed. Um, here, let's try this. Now I have it way too big. There we go. So it's really imperative that you check and make sure that you have all the rings down before you go hammering on this, because if they're up, you'll break them off. Uh, the rings are not all that durable to that kind of force. And it should pretty much go like that. Um, it didn't take a lot of force, as you can see, for me to do that. If it's not wanting to drop down for you, you know, stop and check what you're doing. Make sure that you're not up on one of the rings. Uh, but you can see now that I'm down, I'm nice and flush. So what I actually need to do now is rotate the engine to make sure that I'm catching the, uh, the rods catching the crank. 
because if it's cockeyed, I'm going to have to pop it out and do it again. So we'll be back. All right, so you can see in there that we caught the crank perfectly. Um, ooh. It looks like the bearing rotated on me a little bit. See how the bearing's a little bit out of the cap? So hopefully I can tap that down um, and seat it properly. Because it should be, sorry, having trouble focusing. Should be e flush with the rod, with the cap. Um, so I'll try to straighten that out. And then, I, same thing, STP on the uh, cap bearing, cap part of the bearing. And uh, I think they're 15 foot pounds and then like 60 degrees of angle. So that's what I'm going to do with them. And it'll be ready to start the reassembly. So this is what I meant earlier when I said that the cap has to go on a certain way and it'll be obvious if you don't. Um, I have it on the wrong way and it is pretty obvious. You want to make sure you don't do this. Double check for this before you go and torque everything down. Um, I'll correct this now and we'll torque it down. That's really it for this. Um, I mean the other seven are, are the exact same procedure if you guys are doing them. I am not. Um, I'm going to move on to the head bolts, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, people have said they want to see how I do that, so I guess I'll make a video out of it. I've done it before, but I can do it again. No big deal. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I'm going to fix that, torque it down, and uh, move on to fixing these broken manifold bolts. So... Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, smash the like button, do all the cliched things that people say. And I'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer. See ya.